Hi, so for those of you who've been uh, following our year of, uh, year of challenges, our hashtag because I can, well hopefully we know that uh, we've just got back off the mountain having completed number eight, which was the successful summiting and more importantly, the successful climbing back down of the Matterhorn, the big Toblerone mountain uh, in Switzerland. Uh, what was it like? Well, it was tough, really, really tough. Uh, I thought that I had prepared very well. I'd done a lot of fitness training, I had done quite a bit of acclimatization, and we have got a lot of skills over the last six months working with our guides, reading around the subjects, going on courses, uh, really just brushing up so that I was in uh, what I thought the best prepared state I could be. Uh, but very quickly, very quickly for after we started, I could just hear the hear the little gremlins chattering, sitting, sitting away on my shoulder, just saying, you're not good enough, you're not fit enough, you're not going to make this, you're going to let yourself down, you're going to let everyone else down. Um, and that was hard. Very, very quickly on, uh, I could feel my, my mindset going down, my, my chin falling, uh, and I just felt, am I... Am I going to be able to get to the top? That is a long, long way. You can see the top of the mountain from the beginning uh, and uh, it just never gets any closer. So what did I do? Well, as those of you who'd uh, been with us on Brecon or uh, at, the, uh, at the resilience talks that we've been doing over the last few weeks uh, will know that um, a couple of quotes help. Um, uh, I'm not sure I fully agree with these politics, but Mao Tse Tung's quite a good one, which is a journey of a thousand miles starts with a single step, uh, or perhaps a bit closer to home, Winston Churchill's, um, if you find yourself going through hell, keep going. So as we talked about, break it down, break it down into small bite-sized achievable chunks. Um, could I get to the next ridge line? Could I get to the next corner? Yes. Yeah, I, I couldn't get to the top, but I could get to the next ridge line. Okay. And I got to it. Could I get to the next ridge line? Could I get to the next obvious point? Yes. Yeah, I managed to get to that. And these very, very small wins, very small wins, started to add up. And all of a sudden I was a quarter of the way up the mountain, and then a half the way up the mountain, and, and, and no one quits half the way up the mountain. All of a sudden, more of the mountain is behind you than in front of you. And just achieving those little wins just builds up your confidence and gets you out of that negative uh, downward spiral. It starts to make you feel a bit better. And then all of a sudden, I found myself at the top at the summit, uh, and there's really only one way to go from there, which is uh, which is back down. Uh, so just breaking it down into those little small steps uh, meant that it wasn't some enormous task that was almost unachievable, uh, that I couldn't imagine myself getting to the summit, I, but I could imagine myself just getting round the corner, keep going for the next five minutes, and they all add up and suddenly you're there. 